You know what it is to have your back against the wall, like, man, you gotta perform, or you are out. You gotta perform or you are out. What does that feel like? See, most of us don't feel that way because we got a comfortable nine to five job. And I'm not saying that because I'm just leaving my job. No, 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 no. But I was comfortable as hell as well. So I just want to make sure that you know that, man, maybe Gary V was right. Maybe you're really not an entrepreneur until you leave your nine to five. The comfort of knowing that you got somewhere to go back to in a strategic and structured environment where all you gotta do is work hard, look good, and smile. But working for yourself, that's a whole different animal. Are you ready to unleash the beast inside? Are you ready to show the world that, hey, man, oh my God, man. Are you ready to show the world who you really are? See, life is about discovering who you really are. And who you really are isn't the yes man. Yes man. And it's about going on your own. See, I listened to my boy, Grant Cardone. And he said, go to work to prosper. Don't go to work to work. Go to work to prosper. Don't go to work to work. I listened to that and I got real good at the job. I got real good. See, I didn't have a mentor. The only mentors I had was, I'll show you right now. See, my mentors cost a little less than $20 a piece. There's a book right here by my boy Dan Kennedy. And this one right here, I know you didn't read it. Because <laughs> I know how to eat books. If you don't have, this is yeah, right here. So, why aren't you rich yet, bitch? I'm going to be real with you. Man, it's, it's tough, you know. Um, you may think that you got what it takes because you're doing a thing on your side hustles. You're doing all these other things just to make ends meet. And then you get up one day and say, you know what, this is it, man. This is it. So what does Grant Cardone mean? By go to work to work, don't go to work, don't go to work to press, but don't go to work to just work. Amen. Soon after a while, you're going to start working towards your potential. And when you start working towards your potential, man, our life is crazy. When I was addicted to gambling, I never thought I would know how to get over it, like how to overcome it. I never thought in my life I would figure out how to stop this thing that's making me sick, like literally sick. Go home depressed, go home crying, go home wondering like how I'm going to pay the bill, go home wondering, shit, I just lost the car money. The car note money, the rent, I just lost it all because I'm addicted to this thing. I'm going to show you how I overcame it. I overcame gambling by just this one little thing here. And I'm going to show you how I overcome gambling. And hopefully you can use it in your life to overcome anything like drugs or maybe you're addicted to alcohol. Maybe you're addicted to porn. Maybe you're addicted to, uh, you know, domestic violence. You know, some of you guys are addicted to beating your women. Yeah, and this falls back into something deeper than just what it is right now. It falls back into how you were raised. See, my addiction didn't come from just in my 20s when I was like, Oh my God, the casinos are cool. <laughs> okay, the lights are cool. Oh my God, I won $20. First of all, I never really won the mega anything, okay? I didn't win a jackpot. There was one time the machine rang off. It sang, and I was like, oh, shit, I hit the shit. <laughs> and uh, come to find out, I was like $1,700. And I was like, what? <laughs> and then I lost it all. See, I said what? Like, oh, my God, this is it. And then I lost it all. I went home sad and crying and feeling upset with myself. Um... This is how you overcome anything. You ready? You ready for this? Whatever you have, 
that you're addicted to. The addiction piece is the important piece. Um, let's look at it like this. See, I want to be addicted. Addiction is good. No one's going to tell you that. Except for Stacey A. Cross. No one's going to tell you that addiction is good. But it's what you are addicted to in the relation that makes it bad. Addicted to beating up your girlfriend, that's bad. And I know there's some girls beating up their boyfriend. Stop beating up your man, okay? Um, addiction to the casinos and gambling, that's, that's bad, you know? Addiction to... Let's see if I can get a damn marker here. Um, addiction to... Drugs, see I was addicted, you know, I had, I loved Molly's. Man, I was addicted to Molly's. I didn't tell anyone that before, I'm telling you that now. I didn't tell anyone. Stick to Molly's, bro, that's bad. You know why that's bad? Because it, it moves you out of who you are. It's not you. And life is about self-discovery, it's about finding out who you are. And, what Molly's did for me was gave me a false sense of confidence, pills and all that. But I was addicted to the casino life. Why? Why was I addicted to the casino life? I, was, I wanted to not do that much work and gain a lot. So when it comes to money, I wanted to give a little with the hopes of getting way more. Not an investment. What the hell am I doing over there? <laughs> what was that? What is that? Um, to, to level up with money, it just kept me wanting to get more money for doing no work. Or, and I'm not saying, like, you know, the idea of hard work is a false idea. Why is it a false idea? It's a false idea because I met someone, he's damn near 75 years old, the man's hand. He ain't have no calluses, okay? My, you, know, you can feel hard work, maybe, in these calluses. Um, and he says, Stace, the reason I don't have any callus is because I work with this and not this. I just left my mentor's place. And my mentor says, hey, let's help me move this rug. Or, or help me move this table. And I was trying to get the table through the door. And the fuck. And he said, just turn it around, man. We don't work, we don't work hard, we work smart. Addiction is good. Why is addiction good? Because it means you're highly motivated, self-motivated. And I know that you're probably not knowing what the hell I write right here. I'm just doing it because it sounds good on the board. When people write on the board, doesn't this look good and sound good? <laughs> what the hell are they writing? We don't know, but you got a prop. And it looks good, so keep going. Keep doing it. Uh, you're self-motivated when you're addicted. So you're self-motivated to do the destructive thing, like go to the casino. You're self-motivated to find the money to go get the drugs. You're self-motivated. No one needs to push you. You wake up out of the bed and you're ready to go, baby. Okay? Jump up. You don't even wake up. You jump up to go get whatever you need because that addiction got you. Got you. You jump. I'm going to erase the bullshit that I just wrote. So, you ready? You ready to know why addiction is good? Because it has with it the power to make you move. It has with, you, with it the power to make you creative. Because guess what? Tell me any crack fiend out there, okay? And I don't mean this in a funny way. I'm, I'm being 100% serious. Tell me that any crack fiend out there, they're not creative to get another hit. Okay, they need another hit, they go find a TV, they become the best salesman and saleswoman. Death of a salesman, not over here, because they know how to sell the shit out of that stolen TV. <laughs> you know what I mean? Stolen TV, they sell it. And then when they're out of their, their natural self, when they're out of the addiction, and then they come in and their natural self, you say, hey, are you able to sell stuff? And they're like, I don't think I'm good. So the addiction gives them a sense of uh, motivation and a sense of confidence. It's 
what addiction does. It gives you the sense of motivation, sense of confidence. So now you have the motivation and now you have the confidence to get whatever the hell you're addicted to. Wow. That's, that's better than half those lazy mother effers that won't even get up out of bed, right? I hope I'm not talking about you. It's better than half of those lazy effers that will not get out of bed because they are not self-motivated at anything at all. Yeah. Why is addiction good? If you have an addiction, it's best that you redirect your addiction. Not try to hold it and smother it down. Not trying to, you know, do this dance on, on the addiction. You're not, yeah, yeah, stay down there. No, bring the addiction up. The only thing that you want to change is what you are addicted to. You no longer want something that's destructive. Yes, I'm writing on that board. You want something that's constructive. Constructive, not destructive. So what did I say to myself when I was addicted to gambling? For nine plus years, I said, man, I got to make this constructive because I, I got a fire inside me, but I just don't know how to redirect that fire inside me. So what I said, first thing is, you got to find something to redirect it in. Some of you guys, maybe, uh, you know, what do you want to redirect it in? Maybe you go, turn to fitness. You know, all of a sudden, you're, you're, mm, you're addicted to the weights. You're like, whoa, this feels good, man. Um, other people that are addicted to writing now, they're like, oh my God, this is my 16th book this year and, and 14th ebook. So they're addicted to writing. Others are addicted to success. Addicted to helping themselves get out of where they are to where they want to be. So they're addicted to success. Others are addicted to, what do they call it? They could addicted to money. When I was addicted to gambling, I wasn't addicted to money because I lost it all. I won, and then I lost it all. So money wasn't, I wasn't addicted to money. I was addicted to a feeling of the rush of thinking that I could put only $20 in and make a million. Okay? When people are addicted to drugs, they're not addicted to the drugs. They're addicted to the confidence, to the power, to the, to the experience that they're feeling. When people are addicted to, you know, domestic violence, they're not addicted to beating someone. Because no one's addicted to beating someone. That's if you're insane. Uh, what they're addicted to is the power. To the control that they have. To the masculinity, whatever it is that, that got them addicted. They like that power. They like that feeling like, you know what, I control and make someone feel bad. And then that goes back, if you tie it back in the lineage, it goes back to how they were as kids, how they were raised, what they saw, what they accepted. Okay? Let's talk about this. So how did I overcome addiction? It's a big word, man. I didn't overcome addiction. I overcome gambling. Okay? Gambling was what I overcame. And guess what? I turned it, redirected, redirected it into an addiction for success. So that's why it came easy, was because I didn't erase the addiction. I didn't erase that part. I actually said keep the addiction, but just redirect it instead of gambling, redirect it to something that's more beneficial, that's more constructive. If you guys are addicted to anything, I have a complimentary video that I did. Just go to how to overcome addiction to gambling. Let me just make sure that that's a long URL. Just want to make sure it's right. How to overcome how to overcome gambling addiction.com. How to overcome gambling addiction.com. You get a free complimentary, straight up, no holes barred, the exact ways, the exact things that I've done using the four step comfort killer process to overcome gambling addiction. I didn't say overcome addiction, overcome gambling addiction and redirect that baby into huh, success. I'm addicted to success. Why am I addicted to success? I gotta level up all the time. 
I gotta level up. If you're not leveling up, then you're leveling down. If the light ain't on, then the light is off. It's black or white, baby. If you're not reading it, then ain't not. And I'm sorry I'm so blunt with it tonight, but I had to come on here to share with you guys a 30-day program. So now you know how I overcome gambling addiction. But now I want to share with you a program that I believe is the best program out there for your buck. And it costs nothing. It just costs your energy and your time. See, you could pay with things in energy, your time, your resources, or money. I said, if my comfort killers, if my people, if my people that believe in themselves could pay with their time, that's way more priceless than paying with money. So I made this entire 30-day program, video program for free. I got knocked in the head. Even my business partner said, Stace, we're in the game of making money. I said, all right, hold on. Hold on right now. Hold on. I'm in the business of helping people do better for themselves. My mission in life is to teach millions how to get uncomfortable so they can think better, act better, and live better. I want people to know that they have the potential inside of them to do whatever they want. I love when people change. In fact, there was a friend of mine in, in high school. He was in the, you know, we went to ninth grade together. He was a clown. 10th grade clown. He wasn't doing anything. His grades were shitty. You know, we were laughing all the time. My grades were shitty. We were cool together. Why? Because uh, we have something in common now. And then, all of a sudden, come junior year, this boy decides to change. I don't know what he did. I just never... You know, honestly, I never talked to him again. I saw him here and there after high school, but we were such on different frequency because I continued to be the clown. I continued to have failing grades. I continued to do nothing that, to, to elevate my high school experience. I didn't partake in anything, but he was a changed man. And I became so aware of what change looks like because how could you be like this one year and then all of a sudden you just are this? I'm amazed by that, still amazed by that, still love when I hear people, or still love when I hear about people, or still love when people tell me, man, I don't do that anymore, Stays. If you want to be a part of the 30-day program, which is a video, I'm pretty much your personal coach, going through tons of things, I'm going through writing goals, I'm going through personal development, I'm going through time management, I'm going through prioritize, I'm going through visualization, I'm going through affirmations, I'm going through gratitude, I'm going through drinking more water. Like, I mean, it goes to this. It's the building blocks of success. Building blocks to success. So I want you to build your blocks to success. I want you to get it right. And I want to be your coach on this journey to success. That's what the Comfort Killers is about. We get uncomfortable to think better, act better, live better. Are you ready? to go in this course. I am Stacey A. Cross. Peace. Thank you for hanging out with me tonight. Uh, hit me up on Instagram at Stacey A. Cross. Are you ready? Hit me up on Instagram at Stacey A. Cross. Hit me up on Twitter at Stacey A. Cross. All of it. It's all there. And I'm all yours. I am Stacey A. Cross. There's no E in it. Tomorrow I have a, a episode, a brand new episode coming out of Stacey A. Cross show. You can get that at StaceyACross.com. And of course, always as always, subscribe to this channel, but the home base is thecomfortkillers.com. Thecomfortkillers.com, you can catch me there, you can catch me here, you can catch me anywhere. But I want you to know this, if you have an addiction right now, if you're battling something right now, don't change the addiction, don't try to overcome the addiction. Keep that part, that shit is awesome. You're awesome. Just change what you're addicted to. And my course, How to Overcome Gambling Addiction, will help you out even though you're not a gambler, maybe. Maybe you're addicted to Xanax. Who knows? Maybe you're addicted to Coke. Maybe you're addicted to what, like I mentioned earlier, you're addicted to all those things. We could, we could overcome that. We could overcome what you're addicted to, redirect the addiction, turn it into success. I am Stacey A. Cross. There's no E in it.